name's T and I'm a trainer at Percy. So the main, the main point when I um, really got into fitness, I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, after I had her just feeling a bit yuck within myself, um, started going to um, classes, fitness classes, and just fell in love with the whole group exercise concept and the magic um, that you get from working out with people in a group. And then from then, I never looked back. My work-life philosophy is work hard, play hard. 50-50, um, it's all about balance. To give my clients the best advice on to, um, how to achieve the best version of themselves is to not quit. Um, keep the end goal constantly in mind um, and just little baby steps every single day um, to progress. Hi, I'm Anya Lahiri and I'm a master trainer at Barry's London and I work at Auckland School. So my journey into fitness started in LA. I was an actor and I'd gone out there initially to do acting and do films and TV. Um, I was a massive, huge Barry's fan, so initially I started as a client. My favourite thing about being a Barry's trainer is the interaction with clients. It's amazing to see their journeys going from um, people walking through the doors for the first time to getting their first 12 by sprint. My favourite bit of advice to give someone who's starting out in fitness is uh, firstly to find a community. Like, if you can find a group of people who are going to support you along your journey, uh, it makes it so much easier. Uh, the second bit of advice is to not overface yourself. Like, don't set your goals too high, just take every day as it comes. And the third bit is um, to find something you enjoy. Uh, the reason that I love Barry's is because I find it fun every time I do a class. It's like nothing I'd ever experienced when I tried it for the first time in LA, it's like being in a big party. Hi, my name is Jay Copley. I work at Barry's Boot Camp. Um, how to get into fitness? I'd say my most pinnacle part was training to get in the Royal Marines. So when I was 16, I uh, left school. It was quite evident that I wasn't going to go to university. So we only kind of get this time once. And I want to be able to look back on my life when I get a lot older and think, you know what? At one point in my life, I was mega fit. You have to take extreme ownership of everything in your life. So as you get older as an adult, you have to accept responsibility for everything that happens in your life. So anything and everything that happens as an adult is kind of your fault. Anything that happens. To say the reason why you're not where you want to be, or the reason why you're not in the shape that you want to be, or you're not as fit as you are, is down to something else or someone else. And people try and like pass the book as much as they can, because it's quite hard to look in the mirror and say, do you know what, it's, maybe it's my fault. You sometimes have to be willing to do the things that you don't want to do on the days you don't want to do them. Listen, listen to yourself. I'm Sarah, Sarah R actually. I am a Barry's trainer. First got into the fitness scene, I was in a corporate job working in the city. And as for Barry's, I was a client ahead of time. And a friend of me thought, a friend of mine thought that I would be good for the job. Came in for a mic test and the rest is history. My personal work-life balance is to do something for myself every single day. It's so easy, especially in this industry when you're helping other people with self-care and their fitness goals or wellness goals, to neglect yourself. My three pieces of advice to achieve the best version of yourself, number one is definitely do something that makes you feel good. Second thing I would say is challenge yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone. And my third piece of advice for people new into the fitness scene or to be the best version of yourself is to surround yourself with like-minded people. Hi, I'm Connor from Barry's Bootcamp, one of the trainers there. Uh, so I used to work at Barry's as a supervisor on the front of house. And I just used to do classes all the time. And then I guess they just poached me, you know? They just saw it in me. I actually trained as a dancer in the first place, so I've always had that kind of level of fitness. Work-life philosophy will probably be earn your playtime. Uh, my best piece of advice for somebody that wanted to jump on the fitness hype uh, would be make it part of your routine. 
Um, you've just got to make it a daily thing. It's got to be habitual. Um, make it something that you genuinely enjoy doing because as soon as you start having to force yourself to do something, you, it's going to take the fun out of it and you're not going to achieve results. And the third thing I would say, like gut health, gut health, gut health. Like I'm so big on gut health. My name's Hannah and I'm a instructor at Barry's London. I've always been big into my fitness, I've always been a runner and I moved to New York with my husband and I started going to Barry's and I fell in love with it. So my three pieces of advice uh, to a client to achieve the best version of themselves uh, would be take rest days. I'm a big believer in rest days. Um, carry water with you at all times. Genuinely, we forget to drink water. You know, we don't, it's just like something, if you don't have it there and it's not to hand, you probably won't drink enough. So have a water bottle on you. And the third piece of advice would be enjoy carbs. <laughs>
chest and arms every day. I'm a person, when something makes sense, I enjoy it. My work-life philosophy is exactly about making balance. It's very much about making balance, having a balance between the two. What I tend to say to clients is when they say, a lot of people say they don't have time, but what I say is make time for life. Right, so here are my three pieces of advice to make you the best version of yourself. What I would say is, first of all, have a plan. Okay, then the second thing is make sure that you're consistent. Third thing is don't be too hard on yourself.